recently I ran some workshops uh, looking at doing scene stamping with the hobby art stamps. These are some country scenes. Um, the actual title is Country Garden. And what we've got is basically lots of scenery, uh, a few houses, some gates, some picket fences, and some florals. And what we were doing in those workshops is we were combining them to make, to make some uh, wonderful pictures or little montages of uh, English country cottage scenes. So I thought what I'd do is actually, um, now that those workshops are closed, I'd try and turn them into uh, little, uh, a little video. <clears throat> This obviously is the river frame and this is where it all started. This is where they, they come in and you can see there that the um, aperture, so to speak, of the uh, image scene is what we're aiming for. So I'm just going to clear a path and then we'll make a start. I'm going to quickly trace out a square onto this textured cardstock which I've positioned on a stack of plain uh, paper just to help me with some even pressure when I'm stamping. That's the aperture of the uh, frame that we're going to use. Now I'm going to position the cottage stamp just off that frame. You'll see when I reveal it after I've positioned the stamp. Just giving it a good old push and allowing the ink to transfer and then lifting off and there we can see the cottage, the trees just come off the edge of that square and then I've got all this space to play with. So going to just take off the cottage and now we're going to start building our scene. So he's gone back on. What I want to do is bring some countryside scene up here. So we've got this fantastic strip of um, shrubbery, trees, that kind of thing here. And I'm just inking him up. And because I've got this clear stamp, I can see exactly where I'm positioning it. So I'm going to position it so that it kind of comes just off the roof. Obviously, with perspective, it's not coming off the roof. It's in the background. There we go, you see? And there, that's a particular way that we can see uh, some background forming. Now, what I'm going to do next is also do another one. But this time, I want to just mask off a little bit of... Um, area because I don't want it to obviously stamp some scenery into the house so I'm just going to position a sticky note just over that edge there and I'm going to ink up let's see which part do I want I think I'll go with that bit there so I'm just going to ink up this side doesn't really matter if I ink up the other side too uh, and then I'm going to position it so that it's kind of coming off and going downhill the other way. Oops. There we go, we've got our first two bits of scenery. Now what I've got is, um, let me find something to point with. Let's try a cocktail stick. What I've got is this kind of bush that half finishes here and half finishes here. So what I'm gonna do is extend this and I'm also gonna bring this around and create sort of almost like a uh, driveway. Okay, so let's make a start on that. Now, believe it or not, all of that is going to come from this teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny little stamp. It's one of the most versatile that I've found in the set, believe it or not. Now, I just need to wipe off that ink off the acrylic block. And because it's such a teeny, tiny stamp, I'm not going to use the huge um, acrylic block. I've switched for a slightly smaller one. So I just apply a teensy bit of ink and using my guidelines I can position it so that it comes off and there we go there's the first piece and let's see another one in here now don't worry if you get a little space here and there I'm going to show you a trick for that in a minute as well there's the last bit of the top of the uh, shrubbery that kind of leads off to the let's say the kitchen garden at the side of the house now what I want is a whole area over here but first up what I'm going to do is clean off that little fella and I'm going to bring in some little flowers these guys are going to form a little floral border at the back of the path so I think if I start them there 
and then if I bring my ink pad in I can just keep re-inking as I go along just forming a roughly horizontal border of flowers here now I've deliberately left space in here because I'm going to fill that in with something else there we go um, yep so that's that now working along the same um, plane of uh, thingy I'm using this little big bushy shrub to cover the other side so just going to go in and ink that up now forgive me if I'm all over the place I'm a bit erratic today so he's going in here and that's now a nice big bushy blossomy area which is going to be fabulous when we're finished now I am going to fill in some of that area that I left behind and it's using a teeny tiny triangular bouquet of flowers maybe if I ink it up you'll see it better and I'm going to go in in between each of those teeny tiny pansy clusters as I've called them it's almost as if the gardener has created a an equally spaced variety of floral decorative elements just cleaning off that stamp putting him back now back with a pointy stick here's quite a harsh line I need to soften that and I also want to bring it round to create almost like an area of shrubbery and then I also want to do the same for this side too so we're coming back with our teeny tiny chappy and just inking him up now I'm still using him the same way up as I did with the upper border I'm just going in and just overlapping the flowers so you can see it's almost like the grass has grown a bit too much okay now I need to add one more to this side just connecting those flowers to what will be the driveway and then now what I'm going to do is we've been holding it this way up I'm actually going to turn it what's that 180 degrees and I'm going to work at angles going off this way and that way to create an illusion of overhanging shrubbery over the um, driveway now actually I want to create another little piece here there we go that's better so it's going to come off there and there one more there that takes us off the edge and then other way around going off this way so you can see we're creating almost like a pathway up to the very lovely cottage that I'd like to live in okay so where are we at I think we're okay so far what I'm going to do is just add a little more detail to this area at the front here and we're going to come back in with that little cluster of um, pansies or am I do I want these instead yeah we'll have some daisies there's a teeny tiny daisy set in the collection just stamp them out yes I think we'll have those this time around for a bit of difference so these are growing wild in the gr overgrown grass this garden's not doing a very good job is he uh, so I'm just going to randomly stamp those around there we go oddly though this side uh, no caught him out he hasn't done that side either okay so back on there with that Going very inky so where are we at look how quickly that's formed we've used the house we've used that piece of um, background scenery we've used a couple of floral pieces and that little hedgy front and it's already taking shape what I'm going to do now though is just add a bit more detail with um, a fine line pen Let me just check I got the right one 
Mm, not that one, this one. So I'm going to go for a 0.35 millimeter micron fine liner. And I'm just going to add in a hint of an edge of the driveway. And under that, there's obviously a lot of soil and gravel. So I'm just stippling in there to create the illusion of depth. And the same on this side. I'd actually normally turn my work, but I'm just trying to make sure that you can still see what I'm doing. Now, also what I'm going to do is start, I am going to turn the work this time because I want to go at an angle. I'm going to start bringing these over as if they are very thick carpet of like creeping ivy or something. Uh, yep. I'll do that around the flowers too. Maybe a couple of um, blades of grass or twigs or something sticking up here too. And then just one more here, a couple more on the other side, and there we go. So I think we've got it so far. Uh, now, I think we're almost there. Oh, just one more thing actually. I'm just going to extend this hillside a bit. So you can see how, although you've got the main stamps, you can, with the use of that fine liner, extend all of those details. Okay, I am just going to find some colouring mediums, and then we'll crack on with colouring. Mm -hmm. 